Hi, everyone. I hope that you're in choosing to enjoy the moment as we prepare for our yoga class today. Remember, enjoyment can be a choice, even in challenging circumstances, because it is an inward decision. Learning to enjoy the feeling of your own breath and creating an inner landscape where you can feel relaxed and touch into your heart space is all part of moment-to-moment -moment enjoyment, even if you're not in the most pleasant of experiences. Okay, so that's just a little bit of wisdom for you to help remind you that you can remain empowered, make good choices that are healthy for you and for everyone around you. Okay, so hi everyone, and I do hope that you're able to hear me and to uh, be on our yoga class today. Uh, we're going to get started here in just a few minutes. So make sure that you create a space and an environment that will support you for the next uh, 45 minutes as we move into feeling mindfully how we breathe and stretch and open into our bodies today. Okay. Remember that every time you come to yoga, it is with a beginner's mind so that in a beginner's heart, but not necessarily a beginner's awareness. So as you intend to tune in to deepening, paying attention to how you feel and what you notice, that's when you become a master at your yoga practice to stay present to what you feel to breathe into it, to allow yourself to have that full experience of um, whether it's opening through a stretch or meeting some edge or noticing an emotion that comes up, you can breathe with it and be curious and explore your way through whatever is happening in that moment for you. So that is some of our yoga philosophy that we are always developing as we move into our daily practice. Okay, so go ahead and come to your mat. And um, if you don't have a mat, then just find a comfortable spot on the floor. Remember, if you need props for sitting, that finding a comfortable pillow or cushion to support the hip girdle to relax will help you to lift and lengthen the spine. Okay, so get your props get yourself ready. We're going to get going. All right. So come to your mat. We're going to just come directly to sitting today and we're going to do a little bit of flexing and pointing. So you can lean back on your hands just a bit and we're going to pull the toes towards you and then point them away from you. And then flex and point, flex, point. Make some circles with the feet to warm up the ankles. Go back the other way, good. All right, so we're gonna begin with finding a comfortable position to sit. So if you feel better with legs extended out, remember you have to find your seat bones for good alignment by anchoring into your foundation. Sitting is going to be your seat. Sit down and then lengthen up. Sit up, out through the top of the head. <clears throat> and if you feel comfortable to bend either one leg to begin to open up the joints or to sit cross-legged, you can also choose a variation for sitting for just a little brief internal moment of setting intentions for your practice. So find a sitting position and sit tall. Good. And let's take three cleansing breaths. So let's breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let it all out. We're moving into becoming more aware. So let's inhale through the nostrils and out through the mouth. And one more round. Inhale and let it all out. Good. All right, and just resting 
Now the hands either on the legs with palms facing down or fingertips can touch resting in your lap. Take the next moment to just reflect inwardly what your goals are or what is your intention to take the time for this self-care, for this yoga practice and meeting yourself. What do you want to create? What, that you, what do you hope that you feel in terms of strength, flexibility, calm, grounding, any of those qualities that we know you can come to value with meeting yourself regularly. So just take those next few moments. Being contemplative can be a very good thing in a positive, caring yoga practice. It also moves you out of your daily thinking mind and into a deeper place where you can meet yourself. And then plant your seeds of intention in the heart and in the mind so that your feelings and your thoughts will continue to support your intention. Good. All right, so we're going to begin with our warm ups today. So come into the table on your hands and knees. Good. We're moving right into some flexing and rounding for the spine. So on your hands and knees, we're going to lift chin and tailbone up toward the ceiling. And then the opposite stretch. You're going to tuck the chin and tailbone under and pull the belly up to round the back. And now we're going to breathe with it. Inhale, chin and tailbone up. Exhale as you round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tuck and round. Good. One more. Inhale. And then exhale. Back to a flat back. Okay, so we're going to do um, something today that is for lateral stretching. And if you've been in class, you know this. I'm going to describe it for anyone who is new to yoga practice here today. We're going to take your right knee and lift it up and bring it to the outside of the right elbow and look at the knee. So you're going to look over the shoulder, look over the arm. It creates a crunch. Now take that leg straight out behind you, touch the floor, and move that right leg across to the left, and then look over the left shoulder at the right toes. So it creates nice length. So we're going to do that whole thing again. Lift the knee up toward the elbow, look at the knee, step out behind you, cross the toes over, look at the toes. Inhale, crunch. Exhale, extend. Inhale, lift that knee up toward the elbow and look at the knee. We're making a crunch. And then exhale as you extend and lengthen out. One more on this side. Inhale, lift the knee and look at the knee. Reach out behind you. Toes are on the floor and you slide them across and look over the left shoulder. Good job. Come back to the table. So you might feel that crunch and that length that we're creating. This is great for repatterning the spine for flex side to side, side to side stretching, okay? So now we're gonna do the left knee. Bring that left knee up to the left elbow. Look at the knee to create that crunch. Take that leg out, touch your toes on the floor, cross over to the right, look over your right shoulders at the toes. Lift that knee all the way back up. Left knee comes to the left elbow, crunch. Extend back behind you, cross the toes to the right. Look at the toes. Two more. We're inhaling as we create the crunch. Then breathe it out as you cross and look at the toes. Last one. Inhale, crunch. Exhale, extend and lengthen. Good job. Back to the center. Good. So we're back in our table pose. We're going to take 
the forearms onto the floor. This is to open up the shoulders a bit. You're going to walk your right fingertips away from you as far as you can. So just take a lengthening stretch and start to bring the chin and chest down toward the floor a bit. It's going to open up the armpit and the shoulder here on the right. Breathe. If you're feeling stretch, you're doing good. Don't forget to breathe with it. Now walk that hand back towards you. And let's do the other side. Walk the left fingertips away from you. Lengthen out the shoulder, the armpit, the shoulder blade. Now if you have stretch there, you can stay right there or once again bring the chin and chest down toward the floor. Just get a little more opening. And then release. Good. So come back up to the table. We're going to round the back by sitting back towards your heels, into the child's pose. Walk your fingertips away from you as far as you can. And create that little bit of rounding. Breathe with it. And then come through the table and bring your chest through your arms, drop the hips into the swan. And exhale back toward your heels. Good. Inhale, come through the arms. Exhale and round. One more round, lengthening out and rounding. And then come back up to the table. So we were warming up the hands, wrists, elbows, and shoulders a bit there. Just to start to warm up before we do our next level of warm up. So now we're working into our balancing work. Right hand reaching out, left foot steps back behind you. And if you can lift that left heel up, you're going to go into reaching through the fingers and toes on the opposite side. If you need that the toes to stay on the floor, you're still doing good work. You're going to work your way as you get stronger in your core and in your upper body toward reaching out with that left leg reaching back behind you. Breathe with it. Good. Come back to the table. Let's do the other side. Left hand, right leg. Reach out. Those right toes can be on the floor if you need them, or lift that right heel, reaching through opposite directions. Good, breathe. Pull those abs in just a bit, because that is going to help you get strong in the core. And we're going to lower back down. The next round, we're going to add a variation. So take the right hand out and the left leg. Lift that heel if you can. And we're going to take the right hand out to the side and the left leg out to the side. So you're going to move, keep those abs pulled in. You're just moving into a little different configuration to hold your balance. Come back to the pose. Good. Release. Let's do the other side. Left hand reaching out. Right leg. Reaching out through the toes and fingers. And then take the left arm out to the left, right leg out to the right. Breathe. Pull the abs in a bit. Back to the pose. And release. And then sit back again. Rest towards your heels. Relax your wrists. Relax the shoulders. Good. Come back to the table. So we're on our hands and knees. We're going to go into our half side plank. Right hand and knee line up with each other. Take your left foot back. Plant that left foot on the floor so you feel nice and anchored. And roll the chest and belly open. So you drop that uh, right shoulder back. Or the left shoulder, sorry, back. 
and then take the left arm up in the air. Now, if that's your edge, you are building wonderful tone, upper body strength, work in the core. If you want more work, lift the left foot up, reaching out, lifting that left leg. Good. And you're breathing with it, always breathing, fueling the work, supporting the body to become strong here and balance. Okay, lower with control. Bring yourself back down into the table. And we're gonna go into the left side. So you're gonna bring that left hand and knee to line up. Take the right foot back and open the right arm up. Good. Now if you're building flexibility in the hand, wrist, strength in the upper body here on the left, then this is a good position. You're really doing powerful work. If you want more work and your body feels like it's a yes to take that right leg up, then lift the leg. And of course, if you have upper body strength and core and you want to do the full side plank, you can extend both legs out into that. We're working here in our nice pace to really help the body to feel supported in our half side plank. And then lower, back down into the table and sit back towards your heels and rest and receive. Good, then we're gonna come up into standing on your knees today. Good. So if you have knee concerns, you can use a, a towel or an extra yoga mat to give you a little more cushion for standing on your knees. Knees are still about hip width apart. And what we're gonna do is step your right foot out to the right, coming straight out from the right hip socket. Good, the foot is planted on the floor. And we're going to turn the right palm up on the right kneecap. Take the left arm up along the left ear. Good. Now you're going to slide the right hand down the right leg as you move into a side stretch. And what you're actually doing is opening up the hamstrings and groin here on the right leg while you lengthen the left side of the body. Now notice if you're rolling forward and lift up and out and roll the rib cage open a bit. So even though you're lengthening, don't collapse. Feel that sense of length. Breathe. And then release. Good. Bend the knee. Just relax that a moment. Now, if you felt too tight of a stretch in here, you can move your right heel towards you. Even just a micro movement will shift a little bit how much stretch you're getting in the inner hamstrings. If you want more stretch, lift your toes up off the floor and then put them back down. That's going to advance a little more stretch in this right leg. Right palm up on the right kneecap, left palm up in the air, slide down the right leg as you create length on the left. Now breathe into the rib cage, expand the ribs. So breathe deep, roll the ribs up toward the ceiling a bit while you're here so that you stay open in the torso. And release. Good job, bend the knee. Let's go through the table. So you're gonna come onto your hands and knees into the table pose. And that way you stay grounded to come back up to standing on the knees and take the left foot out. The leg comes straight out from the hip socket. We're gonna turn the left palm up on the left knee, the right arm along the right ear. Slide down that left leg as you stretch the right side of the body and create that nice opening here on the left. Breathe. Good. Come back out of the stretch. 
You may feel different conversations on this side. So you're just breathing into what you're feeling and staying present, backing off, moving a little deeper, depending on what you're feeling. Okay. So you can move that heel back towards you a bit. If there was too deep of a stretch or lift up the right, the left toes and put them back down and then bring the left palm back up one more round on this side, do a nice side stretch. This is called the gate pose. Rotate the ribs up, look up toward the ceiling. Good job. Deep breaths, expanding the ribs, breathing down into the belly, and then release. Good. Bend the knee, and then come back through the table. Good. So what we're going to do is move into standing now. So you're going to step your right foot forward, curl the left toes under and lift the left knee and step the left foot forward and lift all the way up to standing, stretch tall and bring palms together in front of the heart. Good. All right. So we are going to begin with a little bit of standing work. And we're going to start with empty coat sleeves, so keep your feet wide and begin to swing the arms. Now, you just let them kind of soften and fling, just like empty coat sleeves. Take your head with you, look behind you. Take some nice deep breaths. And you can actually let the hands tap the front and back of the body. So you're tapping the organs, and that's helping to stimulate the organs to begin to detox. Okay, so you're tapping the front and back of the body as you swing the arms. Good, and then come back to the center. We're gonna go into our wood chopper, so your feet are wide. We interlace our fingers to hold the ax. Inhale up over your head, then chop through the legs, out through the mouth. Let's inhale up and ha! Inhale, ha! Inhale, Ha! One more up and ha! Good. All right. So we're working today on um, so the idea of lengthening. So we've already started lengthening through the body in our gait pose. Working, remember when you create length in the body, it's a form of anti-gravity, but then we're creating lines of energy. We're beginning to let the body have more flow. And that includes flowing of blood flow to where it needs to go and breath flow as well as energetic flow, okay? So let's start with um, feet about hip width apart. Come to stand in the middle of your mat. We're going to work on half moon to goddess and move into our triangle today. So palms in front of the heart. Good. Take a breath in and out before we start. Breathe in. And out, and then keep that breath nice and steady. We're gonna circle the arms up alongside the ears, and then inhale here, exhale to your right with the upper body as you press the left hip out. Inhale back to the center, and exhale to the left. Good, back to the center. Now step out to your right, the feet come to a wider stance, and we're going to sit down into an invisible chair behind you. So if you have knee concerns, you can just take a little squat. If you can sit down deeper, you're going to sit down into your squat. Either way, we're strengthening the legs. So this is our goddess pose. Good. Now, five-pointed star, straighten the legs, straighten the arms. We're going to turn the left foot to the right and turn the right foot all the way to the right. So all the toes are pointing to the right. And make sure your hips come back toward the front as much as you can. If you have tightness in the hip girdle, you might have a little torque to the right, but you're working toward opening that up, okay? Arms in a T. Kick out the left hip. So you want to create a shift in the hip girdle. Reach toward the right wall for length. Paddle the right hand down, the left arm up. And if you just come to the knee as a beginner, that is good to create good form. 
As you gain flexibility, stay anchored in the back heel. As you start to work down the leg, you have to keep lift in the right rib cage. Don't collapse. So remember to keep reaching through the top of the head. Stay anchored in the back heel. <clears throat> you can look up at the hand in the air, or you can look straight ahead. If your neck is a concern today, you can look down toward the floor. Okay, breathe with it. Now take the hand in the air, tuck it behind you. Rotate the left shoulder blade back and the rib cage up a little more. So we're still opening up the torso. Good. Breathe. Keep that rotation. Take the arm back up. Now, if you have shoulder trouble, remember you can keep that left hand tucked behind you instead of coming back into full triangle. Take the hand that's in the air, windmill it down toward the right leg, and bring your hands on your lower back. Move into teepee pose. Good, we are strengthening the legs, lengthening the spine. Press into your feet, come back up to standing. Okay, turn the feet back toward the front. Feet are still wide, we're gonna turn the feet the other direction, okay? Or let's keep the feet here, because we're gonna step back. Step back to center. Good job. Feet about hip width apart, half moon to the left. Get that side stretch. Inhale, center. Exhale, stretch to the other side. And back to the center. Step to the left. Remember, find your edge that honors your own knees. Sitting down toward an invisible chair, come into the goddess pose. Breathe. Always fuel the pose with breath. Five pointed stars, straighten the arms and legs. Turn the feet. Good, feet are turned to the left. Kick out the right hip, reach toward the left wall. Now paddle. Whether you start here at the knee, or if you want to take, go deeper, keep reaching through the top of the head so you don't collapse. Keep a straight, long spine. Breathe into your triangle. The back heel is an anchor. Good, breathe. Use that head variation, whatever supports your neck. And you want to keep reaching through the top of the head so your head doesn't drop. Keep length in the spine all the way through the top of the head. Good. Drop that hand that's in the air behind you. Rotate the ribs up toward the ceiling. Get that nice work in the torso. Keep breathing as you take the arm back up into full triangle. Try to keep that good rotation in the torso. Good, press into your feet, come back up to standing. Good. Oh, we didn't go into our, let's go back here, guys. Right. Right, let's get that nice work, lengthen down through the spine, strengthening the legs. And lift back up to standing. Good work. Feet back to the center, arms in a T. Good. And then we're going to step back to the center. Good. And we're going to work now on a uh, flow series that incorporates our half moon into a flow series for balancing. We're going to add a balancing pose into our flow series. So this time with feet pointing forward, palms in front of the heart, we're going to circle around, inhale up. Exhale out to the right into your half moon again. Inhale, center. Exhale over to the other side. So we're getting our length and our side stretches, lateral stretching. Then arms open up and out. Relax the shoulders away from the ear, but keep those arms straight, straight and lengthening. Tuck the tailbone, lift the heart. We're in our mountain pose. I am the mountain, steady and strong. So we're creating length and strength here in our mountain pose. 
And then we're going to bring palms together either, either over your head or in front of the heart. So depending on what your shoulders prefer, you can be in either position in prayer pose. And we're going to bring the right to left toes to step on top of the right foot. Good. Now, if you have balance to bring your foot to the inner leg, that is an advancing variation of tree pose. It's okay to keep your left toes on top of the right foot. Good. The breath is steady. Now, we're going to step back into two feet planted and move back up into our mountain pose. Tuck the tailbone, lift the heart, relax the shoulders as we create length and groundedness. A good ground into our mountain pose. Good. Bring the arms a little closer alongside the ears. Half moon to the left. Inhale, center. Half moon to the right. Press out that left hip. Back to the center. Good. Palms together over your head or in front of the heart. Bring the right foot on top of the left foot. And if this is where you're working to find a planted balance, getting grounded into baby tree, you can stay right here or bring the right foot to the right ankle, to the left ankle or all the way up the left leg, wherever your edge is. Focused and grounded. Good. Now plant back down. Take those arms back up into mountain pose. Tuck the tailbone, lift the heart, relax the shoulders as you keep the upper body lifting up and out and the lower body is becoming stronger and more grounded down into the earth. I am the mountain, steady and strong. Good, arms alongside the ears a little more. Last round of half moon. Right stretch, inhale center, moving to the left. Inhale back to the center, circle the palms all the way back around to the heart. Good job. Okay, so we had to have a lot of strength and steadiness and focus for our standing work today. We're going to come onto the floor and um, prepare for our twist today. So we did some standing work. We're going to go into the twist. So you're going to sit into your seat bones. Okay. So we're going to ring out the spine now that we got that nice warm up with our side to side stretching. Right. So we're going to take the uh, right leg and bring it over the left. Remember, if your variation is not to cross over, you can keep your foot up and on this side of the left leg. Otherwise, crossing it over, hold on with the left hand or arm to that bent knee and reach out with the right hand. Wind up to your right, and you're watching your fingertips so the head and neck come along with you. Bring that hand to the floor, keeping it close to your body so you don't lean back. Sit tall. Now, long, slow, deep breaths are massaging liver and gallbladder. Breathe, and you're massaging the organs here on the right. Lifting that right hand wide to the center. And then counter stretch around to the left. So you pass past the center and look over the left shoulder. We're unwinding the spine. Good. Back to the center. We're going to rest the right foot and ankle on the floor. So you kind of cross that leg over the straight left leg. If that doesn't feel good for your joints, you can bring the foot to the inner left leg. Okay. And pull the left toes towards you, sit tall. Good. Gently begin to take the collarbone over the lower body. So if you're feeling a stretch and a subtle lean, just stay right there and breathe into it. As you breathe in a gentle stretch, the body feels safe enough to relax. So you don't want to force or bounce. 
Just find an edge and relax into it with the breath. Long, deep breaths. Good. So you're moving into, as the body softens, you might be able to go a little deeper into a forward fold. And then release. Great. Let's lean into the right forearm. Hold on with the left hand to the bent knee. And we're going to rotate up with the head and chest toward the left. So we're doing a nice variation of twist here. Breathe into it. Come back up to sitting, take a deeper turn to the left. So you're winding to the left, lift the heart, and back to the center. Let's do the other side. So shake out the legs, and then bring your left foot up or cross it over the right leg. Hold on with the right hand and sit tall. Reach out with the left hand, sweep around. Now you're watching those fingertips to make sure you wind up evenly. Bring that left hand to the floor and lift the heart. Look over the left shoulder. Long, slow, deep breaths, massaging spleen, pancreas, and digestive system. So we're breathing into the organs here with a nice massage while you breathe deep in your twist to the left. Now lifting that left hand, wind back to the center, and go beyond the center and counter stretch to the right now, just looking over the right shoulder. Good, back to the center. And then resting that left foot and ankle, pull the right toes towards you and sit tall. If you have stretch in that leg, Breathe right there. We're opening up the joints here. This is called half shoelace. And we can take more stretch out over the lower body if you feel that you want to find a new edge. So you're just working toward lengthening forward, breathing, long, slow, deep breaths. And then rolling back up to sitting. Bring that left forearm onto the floor and rotate up to the right with the head and with the ribs. Steady breaths. And come back up to sitting and rotate deeper to the right. Back to the center. Good. And shake out the legs. Let's move forward into one double hamstring stretch now. So just lean forward into what's comfortable for you. If your stretch is just bringing your hands to your knees and sitting tall, you're lengthening the spine and the hamstrings. As you relax the kneecaps and soften the thighs, the body may get the signal to soften a little more and you can go a little deeper. So you're just finding wherever your edge is today. Breathe with it. Good. And release, and shake out the leg. Okay. So today we're going to do a little bit of a guided relaxation for you to move through the body and feel 
the body becoming more relaxed consciously. So we're going to first move onto the floor on your back, knees to chest. If you know you have lower back sensation, then a bolster, a long pillow, um, a pillow, once again, from the bed, anything that you have that will work to support you to help that lower back soften, you can do that little bit of self-support if you need it. Arms come to your sides out away from the body a bit. Good. Remember, if you're feeling any back tension, to massage out the back. And you can even keep the feet on the floor if you need to with the knees bent if you are teaching the body that you are to be trusted and you need that support to not even extend the legs out. Okay, so your legs can go straight out. You can have a pillow under the knees or keep the knees bent. So resting down into the support of the floor. Good, I'm gonna come back up to sitting. I'm gonna guide you in a nice uh, guided relaxation for these few minutes. Now you want to feel the um, body relaxing consciously. And what that means is that as you're lying there supported and propped, however you need to be, staying aware that um, you are feeling relaxation where it's coming in, but not letting yourself drift off into sleep is a powerful tool to plug into the hard drive of the brain the idea, the sensations, the information of relaxation. And that is what helps um, create that healing that can happen in the part of the nervous system that helps the body recover. So first starting with some long, slow, deep breaths in and out through the nostrils. And settle into the support of the floor a little more. And just let the wisdom of gravity begin to make the body heavier now. Getting a sense of letting the body become heavy and held by the floor and relaxed. Good. And as you breathe in and out, letting the body move into this support, there will become a natural rhythm that starts to happen as the breath refines into this invitation to relax. As you continue to breathe now, relax the muscles of the face, a face without expression, soft and serene. You bring relaxation now to the soles of the feet, heels and toes relaxed, Relaxation now flowing into the ankles, shins, and calves. Fully relaxing the knees, muscles around the kneecaps softening. Upper legs now melting any tension as you breathe long and slow, fronts of the thighs softening. Backs of the thighs relaxing. And the hip girdle now releasing and relaxing. Allowing the legs to flow freely from the hip sockets. And sensing the whole lower body now heavy and held and relaxed. bringing relaxation now to hover at the crown of the head and allow this gathering relaxation to flow over the scalp, smoothing the forehead, temple softening, and the jaw releasing. Good, relaxing fully now the tongue allowing it to rest and sensing the back of the head resting into the support of the floor, allowing the back of the neck now to soften and the sides of the neck to relax, 
shoulders softening away from the ears. And sensing the arms now heavy and held by the floor. Relaxing the elbows, relaxing now the wrists, palms releasing, fingers and thumbs relaxed. Relaxing now the heart, relaxing the lungs. Allow the envelope of your skin to become more elastic. Allow the front brain to rest on the back brain. Saturating the brain with relaxation, cooling and clearing the thoughts and grounding the emotions. Aware of the whole body now relaxed, from the crown of the head to the soles of the feet, the whole body relaxed, the whole body, the whole body. And find the most relaxed place in the body now and resting your attention into this place that you identify as where you've become most relaxed using your attention to study the impressions and sensations of relaxation. This deep conscious awareness of feeling relaxed is plugging into the hard drive of the brain. New cells being born right now are encoded with this information of balance and peace, calm and harmony. Breathing with all of your cells now. All of the cells breathing in as you breathe in. All of the cells breathing out. Breathing in harmony, balance, well-being. Breathing it back out. And then as you feel ready, Begin to bring movement back into your body, wiggling fingers and toes. Stretch or move in any way that feels good to you. And then knees to chest to release the back. Good. And transition back up to sitting, nurturing yourself back up. Good, and come to your mat, sitting how you're comfortable, using a prop if you need it to support you to sit tall. Lift up out of the waist, reach up through the top of the head by lifting the heart, relaxing the shoulders, and bring your left palm up and the right palm down, intending to receive the benefits of your work and plug them into your own well-being. And with the eyes closed or gently looking down, Recall your seeds of intention. And just breathing into the qualities or the awareness of what has shifted for you. And receive that information. Acknowledge your important self-care for today. And then bring palms together in front of the heart in prayer pose, honoring now the peace and calm, harmony, strength, and wisdom within you. May the merit of this practice benefit your own well-being and the well-being of those around you. Peace, peace, and only peace. Namaste. Okay, I hope you go back into your day 
with more awareness, more breath awareness, more body awareness, and being well with, for, and to yourself and those around you. Okay, have a great rest of your day.